Hi everyone, last video taught us some trading skills for short trading periods. We also discussed about the relative strength index RSI, which introduced some new terms such as overbought and oversold. Now for today's video, I will introduce a new indicator called stochastic RSI. This index will precisely point out the potential trading opportunities. Subscribe to our KuCoin YouTube channel and smash that bell button. Let's find out. Now let's first take a look at today's table of content in which we will discuss three topics. First, I will provide a brief definition of stochastic RSI to you. Next, we will figure out how this new indicator can help us in crypto trading. Lastly, we will apply this new RSI to the KuCoin trading interface. So what is stochastic RSI? As the name suggests, stochastic RSI has many similarities as the RSI itself. Stochastic RSI is also a predictive moment indicator which can measure the price movement acceleration but it is more sensitive. In addition, as the stochastic RSI is a sensitive market indicator, it is suitable for short trading periods. Also, stochastic RSI can reveal two extreme cases as the RSI does, overbought and oversold. Moreover, stochastic RSI can also explain the divergence between the prices and the stochastic RSI itself, which we have mentioned in the last video. Since we have known that stochastic RSI is similar to RSI itself, so what else does this new term can tell us? We will have four aspects here in this slide. Firstly, stochastic RSI has different standards in terms of overbought and oversold. There are also two dotted lines in the chart of stochastic RSI but with different number of 80 and 20, which means that if the index goes up above the 80, one certain crypto is under the condition of overbought. Also, if the index falls below the 20, this crypto is in the condition of being oversold. We have learned that overbought can be a hint on short and oversold can be used as a call market signals but with the premise that we have determined definite reversal market signals. In addition, stochastic RSI consists of two lines, person K and person D. It is unnecessary to figure out what they are and how they are calculated. It is a mathematician's business. The only thing we need to know is about how to use it. Next slide, we will figure out how to use a crossover as a tool to figure out potential trading opportunities with the help of KuCoin trading system. From this video, you are directed to the KuCoin trading interface. As Bitcoin drops abnormally these days, I will use it as an example to help you save your investment and find the potential short opportunities. Please click the indicators button and find the momentum button on the left side of this panel. You will find that stochastic RSI is under the RSI indicator. Then you will get a chart with the combination of person K and person D. To easily find the crossover, I highly recommend you guys to edit the format of this chart. It is because the chart in the default mode is unclear. After editing the format of this chart, you will find that the person K is more sensitive than person D, which means that the line person K will move in advance of person D. When the person K falls through the person D and starts to cross the person D again, it is a core cool trading opportunity. When the person K goes up through the person D and began to across the person D again, it is a short trading opportunity. You will find that 
the high points are shown in the overboard zone where the index is over 80 and the low points are located in the oversold zone where the index is less than 20. Don't forget to identify the reversal market signals before we enter the market. Before we end this video, let us have a quick recap. We have discussed three things. First, stochastic ISI like ISI is both a hint of market sentiment and indicates two extreme cases, overbought and oversold. However, stochastic ISI has the different standards for the overbought and oversold. It also provides two crossover for us to indicate potential trading opportunities. Lastly, we have learned to apply it to the KuCoin trading interface. That is all for today's video. In the next session, we will learn another indicator called MACD, which is commonly used in stock exchange. Please comment on today's content. Happy learning and happy trading with KuCoin. See you next time.